Hi, welcome back. In the previous video, we already successfully installed Laravel and then uh, we learned a little bit about routing and then view and now I'm gonna show you how to add a dashboard template into our project. And there is a lot of admin dashboard template which you can buy or use but in this case, I'm gonna use admin LTE3 which is open source and free to use so let's check it out all right first thing you need to do is to download the template from this website admin lte.io and then click on this download button and then in the release section you can download the source code in zip and when you're done with the download you can open the zip file and then inside it you will find a lot of files and what we need in the project is only this plugin and disk and inside this doc folder you, there is a documentation which you probably need and inside this page you can see that there is a lot of example which you can probably use Alright, now let's copy these two folder inside our public directory and we can add a new folder called assets and let's drop these two folder inside it. There is also a file called starter.html which is a kind of blank template and we can use it later to build our plate templates the disk directory contains css and javascript and inside this plugin is a javascript plugin for now let's ignore those and go to our views which is in uh, resource and then views and then let's put this starter html there now we don't need this zip anymore so let's just close it and now let's make this HTML into plate by renaming it into uh, admin LTE dot plate dot PHP. Let's just say yes. Okay. All right. Everything seems to be in order. Now let's go back to our controller, and instead of test, we will call admin LTE. All right, then in the browser, hit refresh, and here we go. You see that something is not quite right, and as you may guess, it is because the CSS is not loaded properly. And if you open the inspector inside this console tab, there is a lot of 404 error message, which mostly are uh, CSS and JavaScript and if you head to this network tab and then to refresh now if you copy the url of one of the css and then open it in browser you will see that the path is wrong it is no longer admin lte but assets all right let's fix it go back to the view We need to change this path to the correct one and also the JavaScript at the bottom. Now let's add assets before plugin and also before dist and go back to the browser. And there we go. For now, let's ignore this image. Back to codes. Now, I don't recommend to use relative path like this when defining assets because relative path will depend on your current path. And if you have more than one slashes in your path, uh, something like this. Oh, I also need to change the root. So let's change the root for example. Here we go. You can see that the CSS path is wrong again. Alright, now let's fix it. 
In Plate Template, there is a helper function to make an absolute path for our assets, and it's called Assets, singular. And we can copy this relative path into the function, and that's it. Now, if you go back to the browser and then see the back source, now you can see that with asset function, the relative path become absolute like this. But without, you can see that the relative path still relative. Alright, now let's do the same to the all other assets. It's done and then if you go back to the browser and refresh the page you see that everything seems normal except from some image and now let's do the same to the image And now everything looks normal. And now let's make this template reusable. I'm gonna make two pages. First page and second page. Alright, now let's go back to the root. I'm gonna duplicate this and rename it to first page. And the method also first page. And then duplicate and then for the second page like this and now back in the controller I'm gonna make a new function called first page and inside this function I'm just gonna return a few uh, without data let's try it out alright it seems that everything is correct now Go back to the view and here I'm gonna make a new view which uh, extend to this admin LTE so let's create a new one and call it first page dot play dot PHP now let's change the controller and then copy this and make for the second page okay and do the same to the view I'm just gonna copy this and then rename it to the second page.play.php and now let's get back to the view now obviously I'm not gonna copy all of this into our first page and second page in fact I'm just gonna move a part of the template into respective page so if you head back to the admin LTE demo website and click on any of this menu you will notice that the only thing changing is the content and everything from the sidebar and the header is still the same so basically each view of our pages should only contain this part so if you open your inspector and using this inspect tool you can pretty much find out which uh, part of the HTML you can put inside your page and in this case uh, it's not this div uh, higher should be this section no this uh, this div or okay this div which have the class of content wrapper I think and let's edit the HTML and remove everything beside the, the div and test all right we found the right part which is this class content wrapper and inside the admin LTE I'm gonna find the exact same class um, I think it's using test okay this and I'm gonna just I'm gonna block everything inside the content 
until um, this and then cut and then I'm gonna save this file and move to the first page and I'm gonna paste everything and change the title to first page and then for the second page I'm gonna do the same and change the title to the second page alright and if we go back to the browser and then access the first page I'm gonna get something like this alright uh, next we're gonna include the the main template into each of these pages so that the content of the page will be inserted into this div and to do that in the plate there are some directives which is uh, there is an include include directive is used to include uh, something into our current views but what we need right now is the extend directive so this and we can call extends and specify which view we want to extend so in each of these pages I'm gonna call an um, add extent and uh, the instant name should be admin LTE let's check it out and here we go the main page is already inserted into this page but the placement is quite wrong so now we need to tell where exactly we need to put this content into this main page to into the extended main page to do that we can use uh, sections and let's name it um, content alright and then put everything inside this section like this alright and in the main template uh, we can call yield and let's change the name into content alright basically what happened is whatever inside this content section right, will be inserted into this part of the code so let's check in the browser hit refresh and here we go the content is inserted into the correct part alright next let's do the same to the second page now let's try in the browser by going to the second page and here we go we already have two page with exact same layout but different content now let's do the navigation if you notice whether we are in the second page or in the first page the navigation doesn't change and that's because we haven't even touched it yet so let's try to edit it the best way is to just find the the starter page okay and in the code I'm just gonna find a starter alright we found it and now I'm gonna change this two menu into a uh, first page and then change the URL into first page and do the same to the second page and the name should be second page and now let's try it and it works now submit the asset it is not recommended to put a URL like this because it is relative and will uh, eventually break uh, if you are in the different level of the root to alleviate the problem we can use URL function which is a helper function just like asset will generate a a static URL alright uh, now let's try it out and it looks exactly the same but in the in the source code if you look at the source code and look for the menu uh, where is it 
there you will see that the first page is static and the second is not so let's try to change the second I'm just gonna copy and paste and change it to the second alright the next problem we have is the active state if you notice whether we are on the first or the second page the active state of the menu doesn't change and if you look at the code uh, in the active menu there is a class called active and we need to turn this class on and off based on the which page we are currently in so in the play template there is a directive called if statement which you can use to do some logic into the blade view and it's basically a shorthand of this alright and the condition we need to check to determine which menu is active is basically we need to read this this path so we need to know how to do that and I'm gonna do a quick google search according to this we can actually use request object to get the path and to use request we need to do it in the controller so I'm gonna use request and name it request and to test it I'm just gonna return request root and then uh, URI alright let's see in the browser alright now we can use this to determine which menu is active now in normal use case in order to be able to use this request variable inside the view but in case of request we don't have to actually do that we can actually call the request object directly in the view but we're not going to do it like this but instead I'm gonna use Laravel application service container like this and then call the root and then URI and now let's see how it looks alright I'm forget to remove this and then here we go we can access path from the view and now the next thing we're gonna do is to use this to switch the active class in place of the active class I add a new line and then if the path is equal to a uh, first page and then I'm gonna write active and use and if to finish the block and I'm gonna copy this and copy to the second one and change the condition into second page now let's see the result hit refresh and click second page and you see that now the active state is already working alright now let's refactor our code a little bit so it can look a bit tidy I'm just gonna use the ternary statement instead of this if block so I'm just gonna copy this condition and remove this if block and in here I'm just gonna use handlebars and then paste the condition and followed by question mark and then I'm gonna write active and then colon and then blank string alright now let's do it to the second page and change the condition to the second page and then let's see in the browser alright it works the same so basically it is a ternary operation which means that if the condition is true then the first block is executed and if it's not then the second block is executed which is an empty string and now this concludes this part of the video so i hope this is helpful and see you next time